Hello and welcome to this week's Tuesday review video. Today we're going to take a look at a fan favorite, a product that people seem to love, a product that I see on YouTube, in magazines, everywhere, all the time, because people love it. And I'm talking about the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. This right here is a sample that I got from the Kat Von D 500 Point Perk at Sephora, uh, but I have actually owned the full size of it before I bought it once, and then I've also had a ton of samples because they give you samples of this eyeliner and everything because it's so popular. And I like to consider myself somewhat of an eyeliner connoisseur because I have been doing my wings like this since I was about 15. I think I was like a little bit younger than that, probably grade nine, grade 10-ish when I fell in love with Amy Winehouse. And then I started doing wings and then she passed away. It just strengthened the intensity of my love for winged liner. So, so I tried a lot of eyeliners. I know what I like and I know it doesn't work. That coupled with the fact that I have a uh, really watery eyes. I feel like, I feel like I know what I'm talking about with this one. So before I tell you what I think about this eyeliner, let's take a look at it on the Sephora website. Reader's Choice Allure 2017 award winner. Mm. So the Kat Von D tattoo liner, the full size is $25 Canadian. It comes in two shades, Trooper, which is the classic black, Mad Max Brown, which is a chocolate brown. What it is, a liquid eyeliner with an innovative brush tip for effortless, precise application. It's important to remember, this is not a felt tip. It's a little brush tip. Uh, Kat Von D also has an ink eyeliner which I have bought and used as well which that one is a felt tip this is a little brush and then when you click on how to use it really just tells you how to do uh, like a winged liner look or liner looks I have done a video on how I do my winged liner and I will link that up in the cards for you I know that my opinion on this uh, will be unpopular and I know that you might think it's shady because there's no demo portion to this video but just hear me out okay I really don't like this eyeliner. <laughs> like, I really don't like it. And here are my reasons. Fresh out of the box, this is a gorgeous eyeliner. This is a brand new sample. And so if I did, if I use it for you right now, it would be beautiful. But here are my issues. If I put this eyeliner on over eyeshadow, that eyeshadow doesn't come off the little end. No matter what I do, if I put on, if I'm wearing shimmery sh shadow today and I use this, and then I do a matte look tomorrow, that shimmery shadow comes out in the liner and I hate that. Second of all, the little brush end starts to fray on me so fast and then I can't get it back in that nice smooth end. I don't know how other people get it to stay nice, but all of that is irrelevant to the fact that I can't get this liner, even the full size one, to work for me past two weeks. After I had the full size one for two weeks, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't get it to work anymore. It, there, it was like there was no ink left and I stored it, I tried storing it flat, I tried storing it upright, I tried storing it upside down, and nothing would work. I brought it back, I exchanged it for a different one at Sephora. I had the same problem. Within two weeks, it wouldn't work anymore. I mean, even if it's a nice eyeliner within that first week or two of using it, a $25 price tag on an eyeliner that I can't use for more than two weeks is just ridiculous. I can't do that, and there are other eyeliners around the same price range that I like a thousand times more, and there are other eyeliners that I like at a much less cost that I like even more as well. I've been using the Essence liquid eyeliners for years. That's why I just can't rationalize spending the money on this eyeliner. It looks beautiful those first couple of times. It's matte, it's black, it's easy to get that line thin and crisp and nice, but it just, it doesn't have the longevity of a product that I want it to have and that makes it not worth the money. And then of course, uh, I have super duper watery eyes and I did find that it didn't really hold on to my lids very well. I mean, I'm sure if you have normal eyes, you're not going to have this problem because my eyes just don't ever stop goobing. But I had a, like a big chunk missing off of the end of my eyes every day when I wore this. It's so sad because I know everyone loves it. So clearly everyone loves it for a reason. They think it's a great eyeliner and I just, I did not have that experience with this. I continue to not have that experience with this and I don't like it. Sorry. It's nothing against Kat Von D products. I really like a lot of her products. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that her Double Dare liquid lipstick is like my best friend. I wear it almost every day. It lives in my purse. But just the eyeliner, I can't get behind it. Sorry. And that is my thought on the Kat Von D tattoo liner. Let me know what you think. I'm sure you really like the eyeliner. I think I'm the only one on the planet who's not a fan. Uh, but I would love to hear your experiences with it uh, in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I will see you next time. Bye.